Hello there, my fellow outlaws. Welcome back to the Wild Wild West. Hey everyone, we've got a ton of Red Dead Redemption 2 online news to go over. Plus, we're going to be talking about uh, zombies in Red Dead Redemption 2. There's apparently been some possible teases related to zombies potentially ending up in Red Dead Redemption 2 in some way. Could it be a reference to Undead Nightmare 2? Well, we're going to discuss just that. Plus, we're going to talk about those online leaks. You know, the online beta will be happening for Red Dead Redemption 2 November 18th. It's going to be the start of all things with our online adventure. So I'm totally hyped for that. And there's some indication as to what we can expect from online. Plus, uh, some issues with HDR lighting and responses about blurry graphics from Rockstar Games and much more but yes also the sales numbers for red dead redemption 2 are going to blow you away so welcome back my fellow outlaws to open world games we've got a lot to dive into so let's do this shall we so first of all those sales numbers this is insane so this comes from business wire they go to say go on to say this rockstar games is proud to announce that the critically acclaimed red dead redemption 2 has achieved the single biggest opening weekend in the history of entertainment with over 725 million in worldwide retail uh, sell through during its first three days. Red Dead Redemption 2 is the second highest grossing entertainment launch of all time next to Rockstar Games previously released title Grand Theft Auto 5, which achieved over 1 billion in retail sell through in three days. Holy crap, that is most impressive. I don't think any analysts years ago, even before, you know, Red Dead uh, 1 was a thing, would have said that a Wild West game could have such an impact on the entertainment industry. It is absolutely insane. Plus, uh, other articles did say that this game has uh, uh, been the best-selling uh, game on PSN of all time. So there's that as well, just to let you know. Uh, but yeah, let's get into this uh, zombie rumor. And remember, it is a rumor, this bit right here. So just note that. Uh, so this was posted out on Reddit. This comes from Leo Speed Leo, I believe it is, who says possible zombie un undead nightmare hint. And he posts this uh, image here that he took showing this mysterious barn, which says, stay out, plague. Hmm. Do you guys think this could be a potential reference to zombies uh, appearing in Red Dead Redemption 2? Now, he did say that he went up to this barn and he could hear scratching noises, uh, strange sounds in the barn, which could indicate some sort of zombie presence. Now, I have my own speculation and opinion about this. I don't think we're going to be seeing much in the way of single player DLC, of course, for Red Dead Redemption 2. Would be nice to see more than what we got with GTA uh, 5, which is basically nothing, but uh, maybe perhaps we'd see some sort of zombie references or zombie events happening in the uh, online portion of Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, that could be possible. Uh, I'm for that as well. We'll see what happens. Let me know if you guys even want to see zombies return in Red Dead Redemption as a franchise, or do you think that Rockstar should be done with it? No zombies. Uh, but yeah, I know a lot of people really enjoyed the first Undead Nightmare, and a lot of you guys might want to see Undead Nightmare too. Uh, so we're going to have to keep looking throughout this world and see if we can find any more teases or any possible references to zombies potentially coming to Red Dead Redemption uh, 2. But it's a good discussion to have for sure. Now let's talk about those online details. Uh, so thanks to the companion app, uh, someone was able to get in there, hack the companion app, so to speak, and find out some potential information about online. Uh, and this comes from um, a website. I'll source them in the description below. I think it's Rockstar, Rockstar Intel, excuse me. They say Red Dead Redemption 2 will get the Rockstar editor soon. Red Dead Online will have seamless PVE. And this was the source. This was the code here. It goes on to say that we would be getting multiplayer adversary, ad, adversary mode. Uh, in this online experience and then some sort of multiplayer series as well but they also go on to show off the fact that there would be a rockstar editor too and then a mention of private servers a private session here and then seamless pve now private sessions would be amazing for the virality of the game the game's already going viral 
But can you imagine some of the machinimas and stuff like that could, that could be potentially made uh, through these private sessions? And then combine that with the Rockstar editor. Man, there's so much potential with that. But most notable for me also is the PVE, uh, the player versus environment, which, of course, I'm all about that lately. You know, I've been playing a lot of single player games. I'm really getting into Fallout 76, just teaming up with players. And I'm also looking forward to Anthem. Hopefully that one turns out okay. But a lot of these recent games have been dedicated to that PvE experience, and that's something that I would love to see more and more of. And it seems like that's going to be, uh, you know, a heavy thing in Red Dead Online. Now, I personally hope and wish they would have an option for PvE-only servers, then an option to hop onto PvP servers, so that if you don't want to be trolled, if you don't want to be messed with at all, you can just go to those PvE servers and know what to expect, you know, co-op. And, uh, you know, all of the, uh, you know, killing one another would be shut off. The PvP would be shut off. Let me know if that's something you guys would like to see down the road. Now, we do have additional uh, things going on here with the graphics for Red Dead Redemption 2. I'll pop that up here. This comes from rdr2.org. Check it out. Again, sources in the description below. But this is what it said. Digital Foundry took a good look at Red Dead Redemption 2's HDR support on both PlayStation 4 and Xbox, <clears throat> excuse me, Xbox One, a little bit under the weather, weather over here. They go on to say, noting how the game employs something called fake HDR in place of true HDR. Now they say fake HDR is basically transplanting the standard dynamic range image into an HDR container, which makes it the source image on SDR1, resulting in little to no difference in image quality. So. I don't even care about this fake HDR stuff at all. I don't think it's a bad thing. I mean, look at the game. It looks absolutely stunning. Uh, so that's no big deal. If they're accused of anything, uh, they should be accused of making an absolutely gorgeous, stunning game. And I know Digital Foundry, they go on to say that this game is one of the best looking games ever. But there have been issues with blurriness on PS4 Pro. Uh, Rockstar did acknowledge, uh, you know, this blurring issue on the PS4 Pro as well. And a user by the name of John Marson, 1988, went out to the Rockstar support, asked what in the world is going on with the blurriness with PS4 Pro. And this was the response from support. They say, yes, we are currently hard at work fixing a few of the issues the community is facing. So they are aware of this issue. Uh, and considering how popular the PS4 Pro is, I imagine they would want to address this issue pretty fast. I'm actually on the regular PS4, believe it or not, right here. So I don't think it's an issue for anyone that's on, or I should say stuck, on the regular PS4. Let me know what console you guys are on, by the way. Post a comment down below. You guys know what time it is. As always, I go over top comments. Leave a comment down below for a chance for it to end up in a video. But let's do this. Let's go over the top comments, shall we? So the first comment comes from Gonzo Grux, who says, I think Skyrim did it right. A choice between third and first person views. He's talking about views here. He says, I don't see why that just isn't standard for these style of games. I totally agree. Uh, I usually play in third person view. Again, let me know what you guys usually go for. But there's so much customization options uh, with Red Dead Redemption 2 and Arthur Morgan here. I just like to stick with third person. That's just me. But... That brings up another game that has been discussed many times, is Cyberpunk 2077. I hope after some of the uh, feedback that they've gotten, and considering the game is years away apparently still to this day, that they do consider adding third person view. Uh, so I totally agree that it should be standard by now to offer both perspectives. Heck, even uh, Battlefront 2 offers two perspectives as well, which is hilarious. All right. Let's move on. Texas Legends has facts, bro. They need to hire more staff to keep these games coming out because Midnight Club is one of the best racing games that came out. Man, I totally agree with you 100% on this. If they announced a Midnight Club, I would freak out. I would love to see like Midnight Club Tokyo or something like that. I'm hoping that one of these big open world racing games, especially Forza down the road or Need for Speed, whatever, uh, decides to venture into a place like Tokyo or overseas, that would be pretty neat. You know, Force Horizon 4, they took a real chance and they went to the United Kingdom and they're outside the United States all the time, Australia 
and elsewhere. So, uh, yeah, I would love to see Rockstar take this on, especially uh, with Midnight Club. Uh, hopefully we do get some indication that we would be seeing uh, more franchises from Rockstar reappearing. There's been lots of rumor about Bully. Man, I'm more into Midnight Club, just to be blunt, and then Max Payne. Those are the two I would love to see. All right, next up we have Rodney who says, I'm super stoked for Red Dead Redemption 2. This is an older comment. Don't mind that bit. He says, I, I might do a good honor playthrough, then later down the road to a bad honor playthrough. Devious smiley face. Yeah, right now I'm playing... Uh, as a total bad honor playthrough. I mean, I don't usually do that, but this time I'm like, screw it. Everyone's dying. And trust me, it is, I think, a lot more difficult than being honorable. You always have someone chasing you down. It's pretty realistic. And uh, the law in this game, in my opinion, is more difficult to face off than in Red Dead Redemption 1. All right next up, we have Nathan Explosion who says, The only thing I'm afraid of when online comes out is the community... What stopped me from playing GTA 5 more than uh, I did was how toxic the community was. And I hear your, your concern. That's why I go back to the fact I personally really want to see these uh, PvE servers be a thing more and more often. I mean, why not? I would love to just be able to play and not worry about someone just absolutely ruining the experience. Of course, they might have uh, additional systems set up uh, during Red Dead uh, um, Online to where they alleviate some of that pressure. So hopefully uh, they have some uh, security, I guess you would say, set up so we don't have to worry about being trolled too much. But guys, yeah, get hyped. Red Dead Online will be coming here soon. We're almost in November, so November 18th, mark that down on your calendar. I'm hyped for it, can't wait for it. I'm gonna try to get through the story as much as possible so it's not uh, spoiled by that time. But guys, Thanks for watching. Stay tuned here. Two open world games for all things Red Dead Redemption 2. And of course, I'm covering Fallout 76 and open world gaming goodness. But guys, I will see you soon enough in the Wild Wild West. Take care.